doing this little pillow today and I thought I would show you just some of the process on my free motion. I'm starting with a decorative stitch on my sewing machine that is done in, a, in green thread. I have three layers here. This is going to be a little pillow. I'm using the top two layers which is like a, a muslin, like a tea stain muslin and then a fleece on the underneath. I'm adding a background to this pillow with just one of my favorite rubber stamps. It's just kind of a swirl design and using gelatos. I am putting my rubber stamp in a wet sponge so it's a wet rubber stamp and then I'm just kind of scribbling the gelatos on top and then just randomly placing these little spiral shapes and it's just a real faint design. It just kind of adds some texture to the background. I put the green gelato right over the stitching line and then also just kind of scribbled it on the bottom of this grass. Kind of a looking thing. It's going to look like a little meadow or whatever at the end here. And activating with water. The brush I'm using here is like a short bristled, real um, stiff bristled brush, which is what you kind of need for fabric. And just adding some more gelatos. These are the five colors that I'm using for my little lollipop flowers. And I'm using the circle die, Bigs die number, number two. And laying my layers out on my little die here to make sure those circles are covered making my sandwich and then running it through my big shot. I was a little bit unhappy with how the this first bunch cut and I'm thinking my die is just getting a little bit um, just a little bit dull. I cut so many strange things with my big shot and it's probably not the best to use for fabric. So I'm kind of giving it some help here and cutting the edges. The second batch of again three layers. I did put a shim. I made my sandwich and then put like a piece of white cardstock on the top of it and ran it through like that and that gave it almost enough added pressure that this this one cut much better. Now it's on to making my little lollipop flowers just by laying with the layers out. Starting up with the larger layer on the bottom I stick one single pin through each one of these just to keep them together. And now to place them on my background. Kind of where I want them, I'm just kind of laying them out. And once I get my placement right, I'll take an, and I'll just take that pin and pin through the two layers. Drawing on the stem and the leaf right now. When I'm at my sewing machine, this just really helps me at, just to have that guideline. Otherwise, the stems get crooked and it just it's just much easier for me to just to kind of have this little mark here. I'm adding that last little yo lollipop flower to the back of the of the little pillow. Onto my sewing machine. I have my feed dogs dropped and my embroidery foot on, so I'm going to be all doing all the movement with my hands. I think that's the trickiest part of free motion is just to get that movement right. So you're moving with your hands while you're stitching. Going down on the stem here, I go over my lines twice. And then back up. And you'll see me do a little back and forth motion there. I do that at the beginning and at the end just to kind of lock that the stitches in place. And then down I go here. I'm adding some free-formed little flowers down here in the grass and they're kind of wonky and a little off but I kind of really like the whimsical look of them. They're basically five little petals and then a center. 
onto the yo-yo on the back. And this needs a little extra. I don't have the fleece under this, so I'm putting a stitch away, tear away stabilizer on the back. And that gives it enough so that my stitches are nice and smooth. And that just easily tears away once it's stitched. Back to my table now, I'm going to be adding a little bit more color to the stems and leaves. The brush I'm using now is a scrubber brush, which is really short and really stubbly. And I'm wetting the brush and then going right onto the gelato stick and taking the and just taking the paint off the stick. Now gelatos is a water soluble paint and it's not normally permanent. But I find that at the end here I'll be heat setting this with my iron and I find that it kind of melts right into the fibers and it stays put really quite well. I do um, recommend only spot washing my pillows but I have not had any problems with it them washing or rubbing off or I mean they stay put really if the color stays put. I'm adding some fun bright colors to these little flowers and some yellow to the centers. Now I don't completely fill in the leaves or completely fill in the flowers. I do like to leave some of the blank space just to kind of give a suggestion of color. This is such a fun, bright pillow, and it's been a real good seller in my Etsy shop. Now I'm heat setting and trimming. I cut the fleece a little bit bigger than the, than the pillow top, and so at the end I'll be just making sure everything is evened out. And I'm going to link above um, the eye cards another video where I show how I finish off my pillows and also the stuffing that I use, my favorite stuffing and all that good stuff. So make sure to watch that and give you some more hints on finishing a pillow. I hope this has inspired you to create today and give free motion applique a try. It's a lot of fun. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.